One of Kanto's best features is that you can handle image adjustments like resizing, cropping, and compression with no other apps needed. Skip using a separate image editor to create many copies of the same source file and leave that to your Kanto instance instead. Let's start by opening an image up here in our Kanto library. Now I'll start to download it. From this dropdown, let's try out the all-new Resize, Crop, and Compress option. This is a combined set of steps to prep your images for export. The first of these is a resize option. Resizing will set the overall pixel dimensions of the image. I can enter a new pixel dimension here for one side of the image, then click the lock icon to lock in the aspect ratio, keeping things in proportion, but bringing the image down to scale. Let's click next to move on. Now, next up is the crop option. As you already know, a crop is about selecting and keeping only a portion of the image. One option when cropping in Kanto is to simply click and drag and draw a freeform box over the parts to export. But there are other options too, like clicking an aspect ratio preset here at the bottom. For example, clicking one to one will adjust the crop area to a square. You can always click and drag to adjust the portion of the image that you're set to save as the final crop. Once you have the area locked in, click next again to move on to the compression stage. Compression is all about giving up a bit of final image quality to save file space. If you're building a website, for example, compressing your images will help the viewer load the page faster. So as you pull this quality setting down just a bit, you'll see Kanto recalculate the new file size. Most of the time, there's a sweet spot between quality and file size. Leaving this at 100 is rarely perceptible to the human eye versus a more reasonable 85 or 90, for example. However, if you're preparing a large format print, it's wise to leave this set as high as possible. At the bottom, you can also select a file format, color system like RGB or CMYK, and the pixels per inch for the finished digital image. It's possible to save this back as a new version, but usually you'll want to keep the highest resolution uncropped as the master file in your Kanto library. So I generally recommend downloading this compressed or cropped version. Imagine assigning a task to a member of your team to create web-ready copies, for example, that you'll download later. And now let's just click download to save the finished version. Remember this new resize, crop, and compress workflow to save that extra offline step you might be completing in a separate app. Thanks for watching.